Hello and welcome to Mojarto on Art. I'm Anu Subramanian. It's Earth Day, and in honor of the occasion, we're bringing you stories of sustainable art practices and the people who are making the planet just a little bit better through art. All this and more this week on Mojarto on Art. Viral videos of everyday activism have inspired people across the country to tend to their garden, so to speak. In the case of New Delhi Rising and Street Art Delhi, that meant that they came together to clean and then paint a flyover in a congested part of the city. Across New Delhi, you will find walls and buildings stained red with bond juice and streaked with urine. Though just about everybody will agree that it's an eyesore, this trend continues. Now, small grassroots activist groups are taking a unique approach to combating this ongoing issue. Countrywide, viral videos of local beautification projects on social media are helping people discover ways to make small, spot-fix improvements to their cities. And just in time for Earth Day, New Delhi Rising, a group of people aiming to clean up the city, took their efforts to the Mulchan flyover in a congested area of the city. Well, this is inspired from a Bangalore-based group called The Ugly Indian, who's been doing this for, since 2010. So they've been doing this and um, a lot of different groups in different cities just took that model and tried to replicate it because no one else was taking care of public spaces. So that's how we started. Two years ago, New Delhi Rising teamed up with Street Art Delhi, a network of 150 artists to further deter future vandalism. We, our responsibility at New Delhi Rising is to do cleanups. So we go to public spaces, flyovers, markets, subways, uh, dirty walls, people where people are urinating in the open. So we go pick these spots in the, and then we clean them. And sometimes we just do simple artwork, but uh, sometimes when we have some more funding from people who have contributed generously, then we invite Delhi Street Art because these paints are a little more expensive and we make the impact more vibrant. This is the third time New Delhi Rising has cleaned up and painted the Mulchan flyover. We, um, basically the focus of Delhi Street Art is to add aesthetics and beauty to the city that we live in. And uh, then I came across uh, folks from New Delhi Rising who are doing something similar, except that they are cleaning it up a little bit more. So there's a perfect combination. Figured uh, maybe there's something which I can do to maybe make a tiny contribution. At the same time, uh, make it more fun and interesting as a city for me to live in. So if it's fun for me, hopefully it'll be nicer for other people too. Street Art Delhi is comprised of painters ranging from professional artists to those for whom this is a hobby, including doctors, engineers, and architects. For the Mulchand project, New Delhi Rising also received support from the Indian School, whose citizenship program works to involve school children in community betterment programs. The children come out on Saturday and Sunday mornings, non-school hours, non-working hours, they come out early in the morning, 6, 6.30, and come and help spend three, four hours to help in paint the area. It's like, it's fun to paint the walls. The walls can be our canvas. And why to wait for the government for everything? We have to take the initiative. We are the young generation, and if we start, people will join in. So like, it's our responsibility to make Delhi clean and green. It should be decorated, you know. We are living, like, we decorate our home just like India is also our home. We should decorate it. Efforts such as New Delhi Risings offer inspiration to those of us who think that city improvements are near impossible. But groups like New Delhi Rising are also finding gathering support on social media does not always mean an equal on-ground power. We are really missing the act of volunteering in community work right now. Um, you know, we have a Facebook page and a lot of people like our work and all, but unfortunately that does not convert to on-ground presence, you know? And um, that's what I really request everyone, is to come out and just spend two hours. We only do two hours on a weekend. Now, let's see some upcoming events happening in the art world this week. 
Delhi, April 29th to the 30th is the Delhi Theater Festival, an annual highlight. This year, it will showcase three headlining plays and the festival will see top performers and artists like Nasiruddin Shah, Rajit Kapoor, and Shekhar Suman. Bengaluru, a fashion and lifestyle exhibition is happening at the Leela Palace April 22nd. Shop for exclusive designs from jewelry, home decor, accessories, arts, crafts, and more. Mumbai, the historic reggae band UB40 continues its global tour in India at Phoenix Market City. Don't miss it April 28th at 6 p.m. Chennai, the Reciprocity Fest takes place on Earth Day. The festival aims to create public awareness of the challenges posed to the planet through music, town hall meetings, workshops, art, and exhibition. And Mumbai, the Compost Mela is taking place on April 22nd. A group called Street Connect aims to raise awareness of waste management through composting and will air films about eco-friendly practices. I have to say, as the weather heats up, these indoor performances and exhibitions become even more welcome. If you have an upcoming event that you want us to share on the show, then write to us at onart at ndtv.com and you might just see it in this space. After the break, we meet artist Renuka Reddy. Don't go anywhere. Mojarto on Art will be right back.